Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, good to be back with you again. We are going to talk about new GANs today, and this is going to be an unusual video because I'm not going to do a whole lot of cutting around and uh, jumping from place to place. There are a couple of things I want to show you here. I've shown you this before in a video, but I really want to emphasize it this time. Number one is that the new GANs program for Linux is broken and um, it doesn't seem that anybody's interested in fixing it. And number two is that there is a workaround that I use that um, you're probably going to consider, consider cheating, but whatever, it's the way that I use it. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a quick look over here at the screen. And there it is. This is our beautiful screen. I'm going to try to do this as much as possible without doing any sort of cuts or anything like that so you can see how this works. You should know about this page on fmbase.co.uk. This is the new GAN face pack. We love the new GAN face pack. It's beautiful. If we go over here to download, we will see that here is the installer for Linux. And um, just so you know, so we can save a little bit of time, I've already downloaded that. I've already extracted it. So we're going to take that page and kind of uh, push it away. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look over at our files. And uh, let me open up a, a new file window. There we go. We're going to go over here to the downloads folder. And here it is. I've downloaded version 1.3.1. So uh, I closed it already, but if you looked at that before I closed it, it was version 1.3.1. So it was, and so it's uh, legitimately what it was. Um, we'll go over here to Linux, and we go over here to the app image. I have already changed the properties, and I've made it um, ex uh, able to be executed. And then we double-click on it, and we wait as nothing happens. Right, so there's a problem, right? That's um, sign number one that there's an issue, right? There is an issue because really that should be working. It shouldn't be doing absolutely nothing. So. What I did is I did a little bit of searching around. Um, I love using uh, Linux, but I am not the um, king and the expert of using Linux. Um, and so I had to do a little bit of uh, looking around for things that might be going on. And uh, what I learned is that um, it probably is going to make a lot more sense if we look at it from the command line. So we'll right click and do open a terminal. Um, they always say, hey, you need to make sure that you have libfuse2 installed. So we do a little sudo apt install libfuse2. Then we put in our nice password and it's already been installed. So that was a waste of time. Um, and then we have to make sure it has the correct permissions. We've already done that. And um, the further troubleshooting tip is to do this one. So we do an LS and we do dot um, then backslash and then we do new GAN manager 1.3.1 x86 64 app image. Um, and uh, as you can see, I have uh, written it incorrectly which is um, always a problem. There we go. We wrote it that right that time. And you can see, look at this, it crashes, unidentified symbol. There are all sorts of errors here in the program. Now, I um, am not a uh, programmer, which is uh, the reason why I am currently making Football Manager videos. If I were a programmer, I probably wouldn't uh, be doing this right now. <laughs> um, and so I'm not going to try to figure this out for you. You can go and take a look at it and figure it out for yourself. I will tell you that the program has not been updated since um, like, 2022 has been about a year, maybe even over a year since it was last updated. And so when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And where do we get going to? We get going over here to uh, VirtualBox. And that is the next thing we're going to do. We're going to take a look at VirtualBox. Let me um, adjust this a little bit here in OBS so you don't see the bottom of the uh, screen. So you know what the little um, silver thing was at the bottom right here, which you can't really see. My mouse is um, uh, not going to show up. That's from the very top of this uh, uh, iMac computer, which um, is difficult to set up if you want a nice webcam above it because this thing has this stupid stand that I can't adjust at all. Thank you very much, Apple. This is another one of those things that really endears Apple to me, as you know. The reason why we're opening this up, why we're opening up Windows, is because the way that I have this set up is so that we have um, a, uh, a setup in uh, Windows that is identical to the setup that we have in Linux. And so when I go over here to Linux, here's my Football Manager 2023 folder. You remember all this? It's under like all these weird, bizarre subfolders that Wine comes up with. We go over to Graphics. I got rid, I'm sorry, I got rid of all those beautiful Thai girls in that pop group, um, but instead this is what I have, and among all of these are the uh, FM NuGAN uh, uh, folders here. I have the exact same setup on the Windows side. So we go over to Windows, we go over to Documents, hopefully nothing uh, sensitive will show, probably will. Um, we go over to Downloads and we go over to NuGAN. There you go, there is the exact same folders. They're the same folders here. I will even switch this over here so you can see. They're the same folders that they are in Linux. This is important to do if you're going to use the workaround because you need to make sure that the files are pointing to the same place. 
when you understand exactly how it is that uh, new GANs works, then you will understand why this system works. I mean, it, it works basically because all the new GANs is doing is it's pointing certain parts of uh, uh, football managers configuration files to these photos that you have that you've downloaded from the new GAN source or whatever. And so what you do is you go create your RTF file. I didn't go through all of these steps for you in advance. And then you figure out a way to sort of like send it to yourself, um, which is uh, what I'm kind of doing now. Hopefully this will let me just download. There we go, download. And um, once you have uh, finished sending it to yourself, then you can go onto the other computer that it works with and you can run new GANs and hopefully it'll all work. So we'll go over here to Windows, lovely old Windows, and we'll go scroll down here to New GAN Manager, and there is New GAN Manager. Voila. Now we'll see this time if it works. I didn't actually test this beforehand because, ha, huh, who tests things beforehand? As you can see, I have this old profile with the old BYU stuff that didn't work, so we'll delete that, and we'll create a new profile, and I'll just use my name. There we go. Create, and then we select the new profile. Now we'll select the image directory. And um, this image directory, it's still in the downloads folder because, you know, I'm just that kind of guy. You can go see all of the secret stuff that I have there. And then we go find the RTF file, which I just downloaded, hexagon001. That's a real creative file name. We're going to allow duplicates, um, and we'll generate. And, um, whoop, I didn't want to click on report. We want to click on uh, generate or replace faces. And uh, then we wait a little while and we wait for this to work. It shouldn't take too long because there's not that many faces. Finish, there we go. And then um, hopefully uh, we can edit this config file and see something that is actually useful. Um, and it came up with nothing again. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because of the um, America Samoa issues. Um, anyway, so uh, that's going to uh, unfortunately make this one um, end in kind of a uh, interesting tone. Take a quick look over here at uh, Hexagon and see if we can figure out what's going on with this RTF file. I had this, this is the exact same problem that I had with the uh, BYU um, uh, save. And so let's take a look and see exactly what's going on. And yeah, I can see, look at all these guys with um, second nationality as a USA with no um, first nationality. So there's something going on. These guys should probably be um, American Samoan. We click on OK, we can see that stuff is being saved right, but the uh, first nationality is not showing up. There's a possibility that this is actually caused by um, the, uh, uh, by the, uh, 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 what is it called, the skin that I'm using. So I'll see if I can um, do this a little bit offline to get this uh, fixed up before we have our next video. At any rate, though, the way that this would work, if it were working right, is you would then take that config.xml file and uh, figure out a way to send it back to yourself. Um, onto the Linux side or a way to export it from Windows onto Linux. Then you just stick in the folder like it was there all along and voila, Football Manager will read it, right? When you understand what the config.xml file is actually doing, then this makes a lot more sense, right? All it is doing is it is taking um, some information in the game, the player ID number, and it's pointing it towards images that you have in the folder. That's all that's going on. So you could take this, you could go onto a different computer and do this process and then take the config XML file and put it on back over just as long as you have the same photos in the same place in the same directory structure. Anyway, that's the way that it works. Apologies for not making this work right today. I'm guessing that perhaps there's something going on with the skin or something like that. I'll mess around a little bit offline. We'll see if we can get it to go. But in general, that is what the approach is and that is what the theory is behind it. And yeah, it really kind of sucks that the uh, Linux um, file doesn't work. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, you know, if you guys who created that um, are watching at all, please fix it. Um, some of us do use Linux and we don't want to have to use Windows because you know that's kind of, I don't know, man. I, I feel dirty for doing that. I'm gonna have to go take a shower. Talk to you later, bye.